I get a lot of questions from people that are having problems with their internet connection. And in many of these cases, these people think that their ethernet cable might be the cause of their issues. As a result, I've put together a little troubleshooting guide to help you determine if your ethernet cable is really the cause of the issue. So in this episode from Network From Home, I'm gonna walk through these few troubleshooting steps and I'm also going to give you a foolproof way to determine if your ethernet cable is the problem or the reason why you're having connection issues. So let's say you have an ethernet cable that's connecting your laptop and your router and you're trying to give your laptop a wired connection to the internet. So you connect one end of the ethernet cable to your laptop, the other end to the back of your router, and then you fire up your laptop. However, the bad news here is that on your laptop, it's showing that you don't have a wired connection to the internet. In this case, there are a few troubleshooting steps you can take. The first is to disconnect the ethernet cable from your laptop and see if you can get a wireless connection to the internet. If you can get a Wi-Fi connection to the internet, that means that you don't have any problems upstream with your modem or your router. If you're still having problems connecting to the internet with a Wi-Fi connection, then chances are there's something wrong upstream with either your modem or your router. So I would suggest going and looking at the lights on these devices to see if you can troubleshoot the issue. For reference, I've previously made a video detailing what the lights on your modem and your router mean. So if you're having these upstream issues, you might wanna take a look at those videos. Okay, so once you've verified that there's nothing wrong with your modem and router, the next thing you can do is to take an ethernet cable. If you have a spare lying around the house, take a different ethernet cable, preferably one that you know is working properly, and use that ethernet cable to connect your laptop and your router. Obviously, if that provides your laptop with a wired connection to the internet, then you have a pretty good idea that that previous ethernet cable, that first one you used to connect your router and your laptop, there was something wrong with it. I know some of you may not have spare ethernet cables lying around, much less ethernet cables that you know work properly, but the good news is here, there's a foolproof way that you can determine if your ethernet cable's having a problem or not. This foolproof method requires the help of what we call an ethernet cable tester. These are very cheap devices. You could probably find them for less than $10 online, but these devices will tell you explicitly if your ethernet cable is working correctly or if there's a problem with it. Not only are these devices inexpensive, but they're also very easy to use. I'll include a link in the description down below if you're interested in getting one but I'll give you a little demonstration here to show you just how easy it is to use. Okay, here's our ethernet cable tester. As you can see, we have a master side and we have a remote side. These two pieces come apart if you have a really long ethernet cable segment. Let's see if we can take these apart. Okay, so here you are. All we have to do here is you take one end of your ethernet cable, you plug it into the ethernet port on the master side, then what we wanna do is on the remote side, we wanna do the same thing. We're gonna take the ethernet cable, connect it to the remote side, and then there's a little power button here. This device runs on a few batteries. You turn it on. And then all you're looking for, this gives an indication of the wires inside the ethernet cable. So as you can see, there are eight wires inside the ethernet cable. And what you wanna do is just make sure that the corresponding wires are lighting up on both the master and the remote side of the device. So as you can see here, these lights are in sync. You know there are no issues and this ethernet cable is working properly. Conversely, let's say we have another ethernet cable that we wanna test. We put one end into the master side, one end into the remote side. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. All right, as you see here, as these lights are lighting up, you see something a little off here. As you can see, the lights are not in sync with each other, and that means that the wiring inside the cable, specifically on the remote side, as you can see, it jumps from three to two, eight to seven, you know that something's wrong with this ethernet cable and that it's not wired properly. So this is the benefit of this device here, this ethernet cable tester. 
you can tell right away in a matter of seconds if there's something wrong with the ethernet cable. The other benefit of this device is that it actually works with connections of ethernet cables as well. Let's see if I have an ethernet cable connector here. I have one ethernet cable, I wanna connect it to another one. Rather than testing the strands individually, we can actually connect one end into the remote side, one side into the master side, turn it on, and as you can see, it treats it just like it's one strand of ethernet cable. If there are any issues with either of these ethernet cables, that will show up here on the device. This is also a helpful concept if you have ethernet cables wired in your walls, because all you have to do, basically you take an ethernet cable that you know that works, you connect it to the master side of your ethernet cable tester. Let's pretend this is an ethernet port. You would plug the ethernet cable into your wall and then you would do the same thing on the other side. You would take another ethernet cable, you would connect it to the ethernet port in the wall and then connect it to the remote side of this device. And then you could run the test and see if there's anything wrong with that ethernet cable that's wired in your wall. Of course, in these scenarios, you probably need two people so you can relay which lights are lighting up on each side of the ethernet cable tester. But the bottom line is you can very quickly find out if you have problems with your ethernet cable or not. So again, these devices are the cost of about an ethernet cable, but more importantly than the fact that they're inexpensive is the fact that you can quickly find out for sure if you're having problems with your ethernet cables. It also ensures that you're spending time troubleshooting the devices that actually could be the problem in your home network. For example, if you know your ethernet cable's working correctly, then you can spend your time on maybe your laptop or your modem or your router and troubleshooting those devices to see if you can find out what the problem is. The more things you can check off and say, okay, I know this isn't the issue, the easier it will be to come to the root cause of your issues. If you have any questions about ethernet cable testers or how to troubleshoot your home network, please drop a comment below. If you found this video useful or if you weren't aware of ethernet cable testers and you think they might be useful in your home network, please give the video a like. This way the video will get shared with other people who are in a similar situation. And lastly, if you like the content, you like the videos that I put out on my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I'll have plenty more similar videos coming out here in the near future, so please come along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.